Hi YouTube, it's Alicia. Um, this is going to be Zoe's week update, although she is, let me move this down, although she is a week and four days. Um, sorry about her scratch right there. Her brother decided to drive his car on her face, so he accidentally scratched her. <coughs> and um, that on her eye, a few were asking what that was. And it's kind of like a birthmark. They call it an angel's kiss. Um, sorry, White's playing with the bubble machine, and there's bubbles all over my window. Um, it's called an angel's kiss, and it could go away, or it could stay. It can take up to a year, so, yeah. Um, let's just get it started, because it's going to be, it's too hard to do videos now. Um, also, I just want to say, um, I'm sick, so is Wyatt, so that's why I sound the way I do, that's why my nose is red, <laughs> that's why I'm going to be sniffing and coughing and sneezing, so I am sorry. Okay, so, as you can tell, Zoe has a little bit of jaundice, um, the first week we had to go in, uh, like every, it was like three or four days straight to get her blood drawn to check her belly rubin and um, to get a weight check on her um, but finally it started to decline so <clears throat> that is good her weight at birth was 7'1 seven, 7 pounds 1 ounce and she was 19 inches long and born at 8'11 a.m. on July 20th 2012 um, at those appointments to check her belly ribbon, her weight, her discharge weight first was 6'7", and then at those appointments, it was 6'9", 6'10", and then 6'11", and that was three days, th three days straight, so she is gaining. We don't go, we go in for her two-week appointment um, this Friday, and hopefully I can do a quick little update. If I don't do a video update, then I will update on my Facebook she is very small, so a lot of her newborn clothes are too big. Um, her socks never fit. They fall off all the time. She is a breastfeeding champion. <laughs> she does awesome breastfeeding. Um, right after um, I delivered her, she we were separated for like two hours, which really sucked and was really difficult on me. But Zach was with her the entire time. But in those two hours, Zach said she was hungry. And uh, when I finally got her, she was too tired to nurse. So she didn't nurse for the first three hours of life. When she finally did nurse, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Are you hungry? Um, but when she finally did nurse, she latched on great. And she nursed every... Go, sweetie. Every 45 minutes or so. Um, she does not like pacifiers. Excuse me, let me wipe my nose. Um, the she looks so cute with the pacifier though. So, anyways, the first night um, was very difficult because she had been nursing pretty much all day. When night came around, um, we had a difficult time from about 9 o'clock at night till 1 in the morning or so. We were up every 10 minutes or so. We pretty much didn't sleep. And it was just a battle of her falling asleep, waking up, crying, nursing, unlatching, crying. Falling back asleep for about 5 minutes, waking up, crying, nursing. It's just she wasn't getting anything. And I wasn't resting, and I was in a lot of pain. So it was really hard. And so finally, I called the nurse for help. <clears throat> and some of you are not going to agree with this, and that's fine. But um, what we ended up doing is taking formula, and she put it in a syringe. And connected to the syringe was a, a little, tiny, tiny little tube. And she taped it right above my nipple. And then we got Zoe to latch. And then we stuck that tiny tube in her mouth and supplemented um, with the formula. And this way, it tricked my body into thinking I was nursing, so I wouldn't miss a feeding. And then it also um, 
satisfied her need to eat. So that first night after she ate, and she only drank about an ounce of formula, if that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we got about three hours of sleep, which was great. Um, after that, we never had to do that again. That's the only time we had to supplement formula. Um, and yeah, so we haven't had to do anything since. My milk came in four days later, and um, she went from waking up every 45 minutes to eat to um, to sleeping for two, two to three hours, and sometimes I have to wake her up to feed her because she forgets her feedings, and I get very engorged, so I wake up Zoe. Um, she sleeps great. Our sleeping situation is going awesome. Um, we still have Wyatt in bed with us. Her waking up doesn't affect Wyatt because she hardly cries. She only cries when she's hungry. And when she cries, it's a very quick, very quiet, it's not very loud, so it doesn't disturb him at all. Um, they get along great. Wyatt was a little iffy at first, didn't really want to be near, didn't hate her, didn't like, you know, not like her, just was a little nervous around her. We experienced one time of jealousy, and that was <coughs> that was uh, with my my dad, Wyatt's papa. Uh, he was over here visiting Zoe, and he was holding playing with Wyatt, and then he was holding Zoe, and then he wanted Wyatt wanted nothing to do with Papa anymore. He was kind of upset, started whining and crying, so that was the one time of jealousy. Other than that, he loves on her, likes to hold her hand, likes to pet her head, um, wants to play with her, but he can be kind of rough because he doesn't understand. He likes to push her swing and rock her, but he's a little too rough with that. So we're all kind of learning here. Um, what else? I'm sure there's so much more I need to talk about. But, oh, I was saying with the sleeping, she, um sleeps in the arms reach co-sleeper next to me and then every once in a while I'll get her in bed with me only for the convenience of me getting a little more sleep so we do that um I'm not sure what it's called the um where you lay down a nurse we do that every once in a while but I try to keep her in her arms reach just for um she's so she's not as dependent as why it is <sighs> sorry I have to wipe my nose very cute. Um, what else? What else, Miss Zoe? Her hair is starting to fall out, if you can see it. She has very dark hair, but so did Wyatt when he was born. What's the matter? What about your pants? Oh, they're wet. They're wet. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to make this quick. Because Zoe needs to eat. I'll clean them and wipe. Pants are wet. Come here, baby. I have to wipe your nose. My pants. Okay, we have to change your pants. Your pants are too wet to just wipe. Okay. So, anyways, her hair is falling out. Wyatt did the same thing and then came back blonde. So... We will see what hers does. Purple Okay, we'll change your butt. Purple so There is baby girl. <laughs> we have our two-week appointment. She's trying to eat me. Two-week appointment. Um, she makes me look so white. You look like you have a nice tan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, we have our two-week appointment this Friday. So we'll know how much she weighs and check on her jaundice. But other than that, things are going really, really good. Breastfeeding is going awesome. And that's it. So I couldn't be happier. It's a little difficult with two by myself right now, only because I'm sick. I think if I was better, if I wasn't sick, then it would be easier. So anyways, 
I gotta go. My babies need me. This one's hungry, and the other one's got a wet pants. His pants are all wet, so. Like, finish up dinner real quick. She only gets it maybe once a day for about two minutes. She doesn't take it very well, so. Okay. Bye, you guys.